It's day three for protesters of Occupy Pittsburgh, a local version of a national effort to occupy Wall Street and bring an end to corruption stemming from big business. The movement may be one month old, but it claims it's only the beginning. Protesters came to Pittsburgh last Saturday, and with them came Jonathan Gray from Colorado. Just out on the interstate with my thumb out. There, there are about twice as many tents here today as there were the first night that we were here. It's steadily growing. I think we heard somewhere in the vicinity of uh, 80 to 90 tents. Everybody is worried about the state of the world that we live in, the state of the country that we, uh, everybody here loves. So, uh, we have registered Republicans, we have registered Democrats, we have independents, we have anarchists, we have anything you could possibly think of to be able to actually sit down and have a real conversation, a real dialogue one-on-one -on -one, uh, is just an absolutely beautiful thing. Uh, I'm on my way to Wall Street. I'm right here in, uh, in, in Pittsburgh for the time being, but the idea is to uh, eventually get to Wall Street. Nationally, Occupy has raised more than $300,000. As for when they leave Mellon Green... This is going to be going for a long time, so I have the feeling that we'll be, uh, uh, I'll be back through Pittsburgh again, uh, probably still back at this camp. These people aren't, none of us are going anywhere.